Hi, my name is Francis. I'm the administrator of the Spanish Fork Hospital. I'd like to welcome you to this virtual ribbon cutting. This hospital, or a hospital in South Utah County, has been over 20 years in the making. We are excited to have Intermountain Healthcare provide its 25th hospital here in Spanish Fork. Spanish Fork Hospital is a 33-bed hospital serving our community. It is our goal to be able to serve the entire family and to be able to help you feel safe, welcome, and at ease. You see, when people wake up in the morning, they're never excited to come to a hospital. However, I want you to be assured that both myself and all of our caregivers here are here for you to help your experience be the best experience possible. Our vision here is to be able to be a place of healing, a place of comfort, but it's also a place of education. Opening this hospital has been a very big team effort. We've had many people put in a countless number of hours to get to this point. I'd like to now start by introducing to the Intermountain's Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Mark Harrison. Very grateful to be here today to talk about uh, the ribbon cutting at Spanish Fork Hospital. This has been a long time coming. Uh, it feels like Christmas morning is finally here. I am absolutely thrilled, uh, given that it was several years ago that behind a team of mules and a plow, I got to break ground for the new hospital. And that was an only in Utah experience. It was fantastic. And to go from that dusty field to a beautiful new hospital that's ready to serve a community, to keep people healthy, to improve the local economy. This is why we exist in Intermountain, to, to make people better and to make communities better. Community hospitals are an absolutely important part of Intermountain as an enterprise, as a system. Community hospitals support communities, communities support Utah. We all work together, keeping people as close to home as possible to get great care, and the other systems in, at Intermountain really support this as well. Whether it is um, telehealth or digital health, uh, whether it's life flight, we work together, we play together, and we serve together. Many of you may know I love our rural hospitals. I love visiting them, I love the communities that they're in, I love the heroic people who work in them, and to start a state-of-the-art uh, community hospital in Spanish Fork designed for the future, but one that serves the values of a small community is extraordinarily exciting to me, and I think could really serve as a model for the rest of the system and beyond. So I can't wait to see our first patient come through the door, and more importantly, I can't wait for Spanish Fork to work with the community to keep that community healthier and healthier. Thank you, Dr. Harrison, for the kind words and for your leadership. I'm just one of many caregivers here at Spanish Fork Hospital. I'd like to now introduce you to our nurse administrator, Megan Johnson. Thank you, Francis. I'm Megan Johnson, the nurse administrator for Spanish Fork Hospital, and I'm excited to represent our team of caregivers today. I started my career with Intermountain 19 years ago in housekeeping, eventually moving into roles including secretary, patient care tech, LPN, and registered nurse. It was these experiences that helped me identify firsthand how very important each and every caregiver is to helping our patients feel safe, helping them get back to optimal health and back into the community. They say it takes a village to raise a child and the same can be said about caring for patients. It takes the entire hospital team. Nurses, techs, housekeeping, engineers, and so many more make up the Spanish Fork Hospital team of caregivers all of us coming together to provide excellent patient care in the safest environment. We've trained caregivers to life-saving equipment, the newest technology and evidence-based practices by performing numerous simulation scenarios. We've evaluated patient flow in the midst of a pandemic, anticipated needs and collaborated with our community leaders and EMS services to assure patients and family are offered extraordinary care. Our goal for Spanish Fork Hospital is to create an environment where our patients, families, caregivers, and providers feel safe, welcomed, and appreciated. Where caregivers resonate compassion and patients witness firsthand personalized care. Physicians are also a vital part of our care team, and I would like to introduce you now to our medical director, Dr. Cameron Simmons. Thanks, Megan, and thanks to all of you for joining us today. I'm honored as the medical director for Spanish Fork Hospital to represent our physicians caring for our patients here at Spanish Fork. As physicians, we train and commit to delivering compassionate, safe, 
and evidence-based care to our communities. Principal to our mission is building a care team of exemplary staff and physicians to provide high quality, affordable care to Utah County and our neighboring regions. Our team and our facility are built to match the best in design, equipment, and accessibility to expert and caring hands of our medical providers. The Mother Baby Unit at Spanish Fork Hospital is a perfect example. Mothers will deliver at a facility designed for them and for their obstetricians. In-room bassinets, are a great example where newborns can stay close and connected to mothers. In our operating rooms, surgeons will be operating with advanced high definition 4K displays to assist the dexterity and visualization of their procedures. Our medical staff will include premier physician groups like anesthesia, radiology, hospitalist, and emergency medicine on site to work in our state-of-the-art facilities. Patients will have access to advanced imaging services like CT, MRI, ultrasound, x-ray, and mammography. Intermountain is a national leader in healthcare technologies, which allows local hospitals and physicians to connect with the specialists and resources throughout the Intermountain healthcare system. Spanish Fork will care for the majority of our patients here. For those patients needing specialized advanced care, our teams will rapidly assess, stabilize, and function as the front door for our system of integrated specialty care. Telehealth connects patients to our Intermountain specialists and resources virtually alongside our hospital team. This advanced care puts the best resources, information, and decisions at the bedside for patients and their care teams and often allows patients to stay closer to home. As an emergency physician of 15 years at Utah Valley Hospital, I know the value of integrated health care systems and the value of our community hospitals. Spanish Fork brings the best of Intermountain expertise and our affiliated and community providers to the area. Stroke care is a perfect example of an emergent condition needing rapid expert access to physicians, technology, and modern medicines. Our ER team can immediately assess for signs of stroke, image the brain with CT, and involve the Intermountain Stroke Team through telehealth to deliver life-saving medicines at Spanish Fork in incredible times. This saves brain tissue and improves outcomes and lives. Patients can then safely be transferred to our system hospitals and continue their care. We are committed to Spanish Fork Hospital to provide safe, expert care and connect patients to their compassionate healthcare teams close to home and close to their primary physicians. Thank you for joining us on this new endeavor and thank you for helping us build the health and wellness of all the lives we touch here at Spanish Fork Hospital. I'm Jennifer Gilbert. I'm an Intermountain Instacare physician and the Associate Medical Director for the South Market Instacares from Utah County to St. George. And I'm excited to tell you about our new Spanish Fork Clinic on the campus of Spanish Fork Hospital. In just a couple of weeks, we will open our multi-specialty clinic, which will be a large building with lots of smaller clinics under one roof. Our Instacare from Springville will move into this building along with sports medicine and orthopedics. In the near future, primary care, women's health, and other specialties will join us. In the past 15 years that I've worked in the Instacares in Utah County, we have seen a lot of growth. In fact, we've already built two other multi-specialty clinics in Utah County on hospital campuses, both at American Fork and Utah Valley. One of my favorite benefits is the collaboration among different specialties in the building. We have been able to consult other specialists in real time and even get patients help during their visit. For example, in American Fork, one day I had a patient come in with a bloody nose that I couldn't control with what we had available in the clinic. So we called the ENT clinic upstairs and they were able to graciously fit the patient into their schedule and get them taken care of. We anticipate this will also be the case for the Spanish Fork Clinic. In urgent care, we are often the first point of care for injuries such as fractures, and we can splint the patient in our Instacare and then get them an appointment with sports medicine or orthopedics next door for casting and definitive care. We love being on campus with the hospital and the emergency room. In urgent care, we see our role as a place for patients to come for urgent needs that don't necessarily need to be in the hospital. We try very hard to keep patients out of the emergency room whenever it is safe to do so. But when patients come into the Instacare for something that should be evaluated in the emergency room, things such as chest pain, respiratory distress, complex lacerations, or stroke symptoms, we can promptly move them over to the emergency room for a higher level of evaluation and treatment. It has been a great resource for our urgent care clinics to be near the hospital because we can get faster results to tests we need done quickly. In fact, we can get faster turnaround on blood work and even arrange CT scans and ultrasounds 
keeping people out of the emergency room. We have diagnosed many cases of appendicitis this way, allowing us to get patients directly into the hospital, bypassing the ER altogether. This coordination of care, both between our specialties in the building and with the hospital and emergency room, will allow us to give the best, most affordable care to our patients. We look forward to serving and growing with you, and we'll be here when you need us. Now allow me to introduce you to a community member who's gotten to know a lot about Intermountain Healthcare by serving as one of our Board of Trustees. Please help me welcome Mr. Matt Packard. My name is Matt Packard. Well, I originally had a chance to be able to uh, be a part of the Utah Valley um, Board, which uh, uh, oversaw Utah Valley Hospital, uh, American Fork Hospital, and uh, Orem Hospital. And so I had a chance there to participate there for a number of years. Then I've had a chance to be able to be on the governing board up in Salt Lake City on the corporate board of trustees. And um, I've done that for the last couple of years and it's been a wonderful experience. The experience has taught me an awful lot. I mean, uh, working in business, I have the chance to be able to see how businesses operate. And generally, the larger the corporation, the more impersonal or the more uh, difficult it is um, as far as organization goes, but uh, I've just been so impressed with Intermountain. I've just been impressed with the organization. I'm impressed particularly with the people, the caliber of people and, uh, and the people that have uh, provided that health care service for the, for the citizens. Utah Valley is growing. Um, I mean, you see that with the primary children's hospital that's being gonna, gonna be built in Lehigh. And on the south end of the valley, there was a need because of all the people that are down here and those people that uh, are involved in select health. And so uh, Utah Valley needed a hospital down on the south end that represented Intermountain Healthcare. And so uh, they were pleased to be able to put it in Spanish Fork to be able to cover th that area of the valley. Every board member, it was encouraged that we uh, participate, but uh, we certainly didn't have to. In fact, it was my privilege to be able to go out and talk with all the board members in, on the Utah Valley Board and to ask them about being a, a donor to participate with the, with the hospital itself. But uh, there was no uh, requirement that we become a donor. We did it very freely of our own. And my wife and I, who um, I love dearly, she is a very quiet, uh, likes to do things anonymously. Uh, but we felt like that it was important to let people know that we had made a donation for our family's sake so that our kids and their spouses and our grandchildren can see that their uh, grandparents and parents were willing to make a commitment to a worthy cause. I hope that uh, the community will continue to rally behind uh, Spanish Fork Hospital and support it. Um, it's a wonderful location, and it's a wonderful uh, facility to, to service Southern uh, Utah Valley. And my hope is, is that the community will, the communities that it services will, they'll uh, rally around it and, and support it. It's going to have state-of-the-art uh, facilities for, for birthing and, and a lot of the medical needs uh, of Utah Valley. So we're grateful to have it on, on that end. It saves us from traveling to Utah Valley, and so we're looking forward to having it in Spanish Fork. All of us in uh, Utah Valley are quite anxious to get the Spanish Fork Hospital opened and operating, but there's one person that's uh, been more anxious than anyone else, and that's the mayor of Spanish Fork, Mayor Lafes, and I'd like to turn the time over to him. I am so thrilled to welcome Intermountain Healthcare Spanish Fork Hospital to our city. That has a good sound to it, and I've been waiting for this for a long time. You know, Spanish Fork and the communities are here in South Utah County. I've seen tremendous growth in the last couple of years. And that's why it's so important that we have a quality health service to provide for the needs of the growing population that we're experiencing. Since the construction of this hospital in August of 2018, we've seen a lot of changes here in the state and in the country. Our doctors and nurses have seen dramatic change in their jobs and they've endured a lot of hardships during this time. I want to thank all our healthcare providers for the services they provided. They are truly heroes, and I want them to know how much we appreciate them. I hope this new building with the professional and talented staff that will house will be a new beginning and a new start for all of us here. I'm also very excited for this service that will provide for our EMSs here in our city. Our EMTs will be able to transport our citizens 
that are in need quickly and then return back to their stations. Spanish Fork Hospital will bring with it the knowledge, the technology, and the skill set that Intermountain Healthcare family brings to this whole South Utah County. We look forward to being a partner with the caregivers and the leaders of the Spanish Fork Hospital to provide a quality health care for our families, friends, and neighbors. Welcome to Spanish Fork, the home of pride and progress. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for all you do and for your leadership in our community and our city. Now it's time to cut the ribbon. But before we do, I'd like to thank a few people. Corey Craycroft with our Intermountain Construction Team. Corey was instrumental in seeing that we were able to keep our project on time. Patrick Lemon, our Operational Project Manager. Patrick was very instrumental to see that everyone knew what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. He was here day in and day out in very, very long hours. Patrick, thank you very much. I'd also like to thank HDR and Gary Lukadeski. HDR is an architectural firm that designed this hospital. And finally, and maybe the most importantly, I'd like to thank Oakland Construction. At any given time, there were 100 to 200 workers here on site. To name a few people with Oakland, Jared, Zach, Riley, Tyrell, Jim, and Hal, a huge thanks to all of you and for all of your team at Oakland Construction. Now, it's time to cut the ribbon. Welcome to Spanish Fork Hospital. Welcome to the emergency department. Welcome to imaging. Welcome to the operating rooms. Welcome to women and newborn. Welcome to infusion services. Welcome to Intermountain Spanish Fork Clinic. Congratulations. Welcome to the community. Welcome to Springville. Mapleton Fire and Rescue would like to welcome Spanish Fork Hospital to the South County. Good luck. <laughs> welcome to the team. We're excited to have you in our community. 